Alejandro Valverde with his Movistar team near the front of the main field, leading the chase. Richie Fort in the white leader's jersey, right behind Valverde with Team Sky. Remember, the summit of the climb is right around 4K from the finish. And now Movistar, Valverde! Oh. Valverde launching a move, going for the win! This is all the marbles right here for everything in the bike race. 5K to get a gap and the win. A 10 second time bonus for winning. He also needs at least a four second gap to Richie Port at the finish. It looks like he just sat up. He did. Wow. That was not a sustained attack. It didn't get away. He must have just blown up and realized there was no way he could do it. It's Pozzo Vivo in second, Contador third as the day started. Now Cannondale, Garmin once again, maybe Dan Martin another try after launching a oh, move earlier. No. Dan what? Martin moved to the front and launched a solo effort several kilometers ago. He was caught, now going once again, a second effort for a stage win. But Dan Martin feeling every mile in his legs at this point as he tries to hold off the charging field on the final day in Catalonia. Here they come, led by Movistar and Alejandro Valverde, and they pass Dan Martin right near the finish. Alejandro Valverde going for the second place time bonus and now going for the win. It's Valverde just ahead uh, of a Co Euro car. Co yeah. Co Co so Valverde is going to get his third stage win of the race. Just like his first stage win, way back on stage number two, Valverde led out by his teammate, JJ Rojas. That day they went 1-2. And today, Valverde got his third stage win. He has been on fire over the last seven days. And the day before this race started, he was doing Milan San Remo almost 300 kilometers. Finished just ahead of Cocard, who we just saw crashing earlier in the stage, so he bounced back nicely. And Chernetki, the winner yesterday, that has never won a sprint in his life until yesterday, third today.